So by now, I know that most of you have heard that OpenAI has come up with five levels to track its progress toward its goal of building AI that can do things that only humans can currently do. If you are yet to hear the news, it was first reported by Bloomberg yesterday. The report says that at an all-hands meeting this week, company execs told employees they believe they're nearing level two. So OpenAI plans to share the list with investors and others outside the company ranging from the kind of AI available today that can interact in conversational language with people which is level one, to AI that can do the work of an organization that would be level five. As you all know, OpenAI has said for years that it's working to build what's often referred to as artificial general intelligence or AGI, essentially computers that can do a better job on most tasks than people. Such systems do not currently exist. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has previously said he expects AGI could be reached this decade. Of course, not only him, but many people believe that AGI is very likely to be developed by the end of the decade. If you even remember a paper that was released recently by an ex-OpenAI employee, it claimed that most people believe AGI will be available by 2027. Yeah, the name of the paper was Situational Awareness, which I covered in a previous video. AI researchers have long debated how to determine the criteria for reaching AGI. Most of them cannot even agree on what AGI is, but in a November 2023 paper, several researchers at Google DeepMind proposed a framework of five ascending levels of AI, including tiers such as expert and superhuman. So now OpenAI has also decided to come up with a list which we are led to believe will be a guiding framework towards developing AGI. You know like a tool to measure their progress on their goal. There is, of course, a lot of rumor that AGI was achieved long ago in OpenAI labs, but has not been made public yet. Other rumors suggest that GPT-5, which was to be released this year, was delayed because it had achieved AGI, but those are just rumors. So in this video, I wanted to look at the five stages that OpenAI just released and analyze them and what they mean for the future of AI. Here is the list, and we are led to believe that OpenAI claims that GPT-5 will be operating at level 2. Remember, its release date was pushed to next year. Probably the end of next year. The first level, according to OpenAI, is chatbots or AI with conversational language, which you and I are using on a daily basis in the likes of GPT-40, Claude AI, and Google Gemini. These are large language models which have taken the world by storm, and I think most people know their strengths and weaknesses. They excel in many tasks, but as you interact with them more, you find that there are weaknesses in them. They cannot get to high-level reasoning that is required for problem-solving tasks. This brings us to the second stage in the list which OpenAI calls reasoners that have human-level problem-solving abilities. OpenAI executives are reported to have told employees that GPT-5, which will probably be released at the end of next year, will be at this level. The claim started with OpenAI CTO Mira Murati, who claimed that GPT-5 will have a PhD-level reasoning compared to GPT-4, which has high schoolers' reasoning abilities. Now it goes without saying that achieving level 2 will be the prerequisite to achieving the other three levels of intelligence. If we can have multimodal AI that is able to reason on complex problems that current AI models lack, then we would be unlocking a scenario where these AI models help us with research. What abilities would you be looking for in an AI system that is at this level? The third stage, according to OpenAI, is agents. Agents refer to AI systems that can take action which is not authorized by human commands. Of course, there has been much talk about building agents, but I do not think we are at that level yet. Most AI models today cannot act independently of human instruction. Agents are AI models that would be able to plan, and take actions on the steps that they have planned without human command. This would mean that you would leave certain tasks to AI models and you would not need to supervise them. Now, I know most of us are used to AI models giving answers immediately, but agents would take even a few days before accomplishing a task. Now, I tend to think that at this stage, AI models will be able to use tools such as computers and the internet freely without restrictions. The fourth stage that OpenAI came up with was that of innovators. AI models that can help in research and innovation. That makes perfect sense because after we have AI models that can perform tasks in an agentic manner, then we shall not be far away from researchers that are AI models. With the ability to plan and use tools without restrictions, 
It is possible that from there we might see AI models finding ways to build products or come up with ideas that have never been discovered by us. This would be the age of AI geeks. Finally, after we have converted AI models to nerds, it will make perfect sense for organizations to hire these nerds who will work without rest. That is why OpenAI foresees that the fifth and final journey towards AGI will be AI that can work in organizations. AI product managers or AI interns will be a thing of the future for sure. Some of them might be your coworkers and probably some of you will have buddies as AI. What I do not know is whether these AI models will have personalities. I mean, imagine what a moody AI will be like. Or will they get jealous when you are nominated as employee of the year? Much remains to be seen, but the future will be full of surprises. Let me know what you think. At this stage, will you be able to build friendships with AI models? Would it even be possible?